Hello, this video is about the basics of creating human machine interface, short HMI for your projects. Let's start by creating a simple program which will perform thresholding on the LENA image. Additionally, I'll add the loop filter to make the program run continuously in a loop. We can change the threshold value in the filter properties, but if we want to allow the end user of the program to do this as well, we need an HMI. You can activate the HMI designer by clicking the button on the toolbar. This action activates the HMI controls catalog and the HMI design area. You start creating your HMI by dragging controls to the HMI area. To display an image, you'll need the video box. You can connect filter ports to the HMI ports. Finally, you can edit controls look and behavior in the properties window. Let's adjust the properties of the video box to make the displayed image look good. Let's add another control called label to display some textual data. If we run the program, we can see that the data is displayed in the HMI. Please note that the synchronization of the program with the HMI takes place once in iteration. Okay, one more thing we can do is to allow the user to control the threshold value from the HMI. The track bar control can be used for that. I'll define the range of values returned by the track bar. and connect it to the thresholding filter. As you can see, the data can flow in both directions, so we can control our program from the HMI. It's nice to know that you can undock the HMI window and place it, for example, on another monitor during your work on the interface. Please remember that there are many other available HMI controls which can be used in your user interface. Feel free to explore the HMI controls catalog to find the ones that will suit you best.